So today I'm gonna walk you through how to upload uh, files through an FTP. Uh, so here's a website that I own called headshotslasvegas.com and what I'm going to do is uh, walk you through which what pieces of information that you will need. So basically you need three pieces of information. One is the FTP server and most of the time the server is the same as your domain name. So in this case it will be headshotslasvegas.com and then the username will be uh, headshot and the password well, I'm not gonna let you know what the password is, but I'm gonna put a bunch of asterisks here to illustrate what the password otherwise would be. So these are basically the three uh, pieces of information that you will need for uh, to be able to connect the FTP. There's another piece of information called the port number, but these days it's really standard, so the port is usually always port 21, unless that's been specifically changed for a uh, specific purpose. So, um, just gonna leave this alone here. Now, what uh, you need is you need an FTP program. Uh, there are multiple FTP programs out there that are free. Uh, one of them uh, that I kind of like uh, is called uh, FileZilla, um, and that's completely free. So just go to Google FileZilla and type in FileZilla, and you can click here. And the reason I like FileZilla is because uh, it works across all. Um, operating system. So if you have Windows or if you have Mac or even Linux, well I guess if you have Linux you probably don't need this tutorial. Um, but if you have Mac or Windows, uh, this uh, would be a great software for you to use. So I already have it installed so I'm gonna just open it right here. And change this to see. And so as you can see over here, here's the port number that I was talking about. Uh, I can just leave it alone because it will default to port 21. So here I'm gonna copy the FTP server and copy the FTP username. Uh, keep in mind that the FTP username password is not always the same as your web hosting control panel. If it is a cPanel based um, web hosting control panel, most of the time it would be the same, although is not vice versa. So sometimes the FTP user that may be given to you may not be the same as the login for the web hosting control panel. So that's just something to note. So basically I can leave this alone and I can click on uh, quick connect. And basically once I log in, on most websites there will be a folder called public underscore HTML other folders, it will be HTTP docs, and others will just be HTML. Uh, but most of the time, it will be public HTML, uh, underscore HTML. So double click into that, and basically, uh, this is what, uh, these are all the files on the current website. So let's say if I want to make a new file and then upload it, I should see it reflect on the front end. And just to show you that um, I didn't don't already have this file, I'm going to type in uh, maybe hello dot txt and see over here it says error 404 the file is not found uh, actually I'm going to change this to .html since we're working with web, uh, web pages and it's not found so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just you know, create a quick document here now this is not going to validate uh, as far as my code it's just something really simple uh, that I'm typing up for um, this demonstration hello world Hello, this is a test. And I'm going to save this to my desktop. I'm going to name it uh, hello.html. So now I have the file. I can then navigate to the uh, desktop here. Um, desktop. So you can navigate through the tree over here. Or if you want to, you can also open up your desktop and then just drag this file over, which is a little bit easier in most cases. So I can go ahead and just drag this file here. And uh, basically that uploads the file. Uh, and if I refresh here, here's my file. So basically that's how you will upload a file using FTP in a nutshell. Uh, now note there are multiple FTP programs out there. Another one that I recommend for uh, Windows users is one called WinSEP um, and you can basically type in WinSCP in Google 
and then just download through that. But if you're on a Mac, um, I would definitely recommend uh, FileZilla. It's a very solid FTP program. The advantage with WinSCP is it allows you to um, to edit files directly from the FTP program, so you don't have to uh, uh, create, edit the files in Notepad or something similar. Uh, in this case, Notepad++. Um, you can double click basically uh, and edit, edit directly. Actually, I'll show you right now. So I believe I already have this saved here. Um, yep. So uh, see how I already have this session uh, saved here. Um, I can just double click here. And see this file that I uploaded, I can go ahead and double click on this and I'm able to make changes directly through the FDB program. So maybe I'll add, um, this is a test. Uh, my site is href, http, yanshenghuang.com, yanshenghuang.com. And of course, you don't know, need to know how to really do this. This is just me writing some code, uh, basic code here. And if I refresh, see how it, um, I don't have, I didn't have to open this file uh, or I'm sorry, download this file and then uh, edit the file in Notepad and then re-upload again. I'm able to just upload, uh, edit directly from uh, the software. So that's one of the really cool things about WinSCP. But if you're on a uh, Mac, um, then it will probably be better to just use um, uh, use FileZilla. And if you want to download the file and then, uh, that's already on the website and then make changes to it, this is how you would do it. So basically I can just, um, let me get the path for here. So basically the other way is I can just find the desktop here, but it's a little bit easier for me if I just do that that way. So here's my file right here, and here's the file on the server. Um, so if I, let's say, want to, because the, right now the file on my desktop is still the um, old file. So if, let's say, I want to download the file from the server, uh, make some changes to it, and then re-upload it, this is how you would do it. Drag it over here. Overwrite, yes. And now I can go back uh, to uh, a notepad or a similar program, um, and I can right-click. Uh, this time I'll upload, I'll make the edit in the standard notepad so you can see how that's done. Hello. Uh, so basically I have it here. I'm just gonna uh, maybe change the period into exclamation and I'll go ahead and save this and close. And then if I drag this over from the my hard drive onto the server, it'll ask if I want to overwrite it, yes or okay. And if I refresh, this should change. So basically that's how you would uh, upload files, um, also download, edit files, and re-upload them, uh, as well as connecting to an FTP. So hopefully uh, you found this video helpful, and if you have, make sure you like the video, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, go to my uh, site, yanshenghuang.com. Uh, I share a lot of interesting articles uh, basically every single day, uh, and it ranges anywhere from stuff philosophical items to uh, social media, marketing, uh, lifestyle, fashion, uh, graphics, uh, technology, um, and sometimes just interesting stuff. Uh, so be sure to uh, check out my site um, and subscribe to my newsletter. And also make sure you uh, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Google Plus, Instagram. And uh, other than that, thank you for watching this video and also thank you for subscribe, uh, subscribe to my um, uh, channel.